4 minute mile wikipedia audio in the sport of athletics a 4 minute mile means completing a mile run in less than 4 minutes it was first achieved in 1954 by roger bannister in 3:59.4 the 4 minute barrier has since been broken by many male athletes and is now the standard of all male professional middle distance runners in the last 50 years the mile record has been lowered by almost 17 seconds, and currently stands at 3,43.13. Running a mile in 4 minutes translates to a speed of 15 miles per hour. It also means 22 feet per second. Breaking the 4-minute barrier was first achieved on May 6, 1954 at Oxford University's Ifley Road Track, by Englishman Roger Bannister, with the help of fellow runners Chris Chataway and Chris Brasher as pacemakers. Two months later, during the 1954 British Empire and Commonwealth Games hosted in Vancouver, BC, two competing runners, Australia's John Landy and Bannister, ran the distance of one mile in under four minutes. The race's end is memorialized in a photo, and later a statue, of the two, with Landy looking over his left shoulder, just as Bannister is passing him on the right. Landy thus lost the race. The statue was placed in front of the Pacific National Exhibition Entrance Plaza. Record Holders New Zealand's John Walker, the first man to run the mile under 350, ran 135 sub-4-minute miles during his career, and American Steve Scott has run the most sub-4-minute miles, with 136. Algeria's Nureddin Morsili was the first under 345. Currently, the mile record is held by Morocco's Hikam El Garouche, who ran a time of 3,43.13 in Rome in 1999. In 1964, America's Jim Ryan became the first high school runner to break four minutes for the mile, running 3,59.0 as a junior and a then American record 3,55.3 as a senior in 1965. Tim Danielson and Marty Lee Corey also came in under four minutes, but Ryan's high school record stood until Alan Webb ran 3 53.43 in 2001. Ten years later, in 2011, Lucas Vertbikas became the fifth high schooler under four minutes. In 2015, Matthew Maiden and Grant Fisher became the sixth and seventh high schoolers to break four minutes, both running 3,59.38 about a month apart. Webb was the first high schooler to run sub four indoors, running 3,59.86 in early 2001. On February 6, 2016, Andrew Hunter significantly improved upon Webb's mark running 3,58.25 on the same New York Armory track and 3,57.81 two weeks later. Hunter achieved the four-minute mile mark outdoors later in the season at the Prefontaine Classic. At that same meet Michael Slagowski ran his second sub four-minute of the season. Reed Brown dipped under the barrier on June 1, 2017 running the fourth fastest high school mile time ever recorded in a race, 3,59.30. Another illustration of the progression of performance in the men's mile is that, in 1994, 40 years after Bannister's breaking of the barrier, the Irish runner Eamon Collin became the first man over the age of 40 to run a sub-four-minute mile. Because Colin surpassed the mark indoors and before the IAAF validated indoor performances as being eligible for outdoor records, World Masters Athletics still had not recognized a sub-four-minute mile performance as a record in the M40 division. 
Many elite athletes made the attempts to extend their careers beyond age 40 to challenge that mark. Over 18 years after Colin, that was finally achieved by UK's Anthony Whiteman, running 3 58.79 on June 2, 2012. No woman has yet run a 4-minute mile. As of 2015, the women's world record is held by retired Russian Svetlana Masterkova, with a time of 4 12.56 in 1996. In 1997, Daniel Komen of Kenya ran 2 miles in less than 8 minutes, doubling up on Bannister's accomplishment. He did it again in February 1998, falling just 0.3 seconds behind his previous performance, and is still the only individual to accomplish the feat. Some sources contend the first successful four-minute mile was run in London by James Parrott on May 9, 1770. Parrott's route began on Goswell Road, before turning down Old Street finishing at St. Leonard's, Shoreditch. Although timing methods at this time were following the invention of the chronometer by John Harrison accurate enough to measure the four minutes correctly, the record is not recognized by modern sporting bodies. Neil Bascom notes in The Perfect Mile that even 19th century historians cast a skeptical eye on the account. Then in 1796, the sporting magazine reported that on October 10 of that year a young man called Weller, one of three brothers, undertook for a wager of three guineas to run one mile on the Banbury Road, in four minutes, which he performed two seconds within the time. In other words, the magazine reports that he ran a mile in three minutes, 58 seconds. By that time, a mile could be routinely measured to within a few inches, watches, thanks to John Harrison, could measure 4 minutes to within 0.0009 SEC, and after about 1750 the mass production of highly accurate watches was well underway. It is also reputed that Glenn Cunningham achieved a 4-minute mile in a workout in the 1920s. In addition to being unsubstantiated, a workout run would not count as a record. Possible Other Claims In 1988, the ABC and the BBC CO produced The Four-Minute Mile, a mini-series dramatization of the race to the four-minute mile, featuring Richard Hutt as Bannister and Neek Needles as John Landy. It was written by David Williamson and directed by Jim Goddard. In 2004, Neil Bascom wrote a book entitled The Perfect Mile about Roger Bannister, John Landy, and Wes Santee, portraying their individual attempts to break the four-minute mile in the context of the sport of mile racing. A second film version was made in 2005, starring Jamie McLaughlin as Bannister. In June 2011 the watch used to time the original event was donated by Jeffrey Archer to a charity auction for Oxford University Athletics Club, it sold for £97,250. In July 2016 the BBC broadcast the documentary Bannister, Everest on the Track the Roger Bannister story with first-hand interviews from Bannister and various other figures on the first sub-four-minute mile. James Parrott The Weller Run Glenn Cunningham In Popular Culture <laughs>